On Wednesday, Joe Biden addressed the nation for just 11 minutes in order to, like LBJ, explain his decision to leave the presidential race. Rather than acknowledging Americans' current dissatisfaction, as LBJ did in both word and deed, the Biden administration made no such concessions, despite Americans' discontent with immigration, inflation, rising crime, the war in Ukraine, as well as Democrats' polarizing rhetoric. Though Joe Biden did not follow the example of LBJ by offering conciliatory comments to the American public, he acknowledged the nation's divided state. He also embraced the notion that once again, Democrats have unwittingly wandered into a quagmire. We are so, so divided, as Biden said in an interview, because forces we cannot control want to stop the progress the Democrats are offering, Biden informs us. Biden began his speech by talking about unity and perfection. He said that being president is a sacred task that consists of perfecting our union, he did concede that being president is not about me. It's about you, your families, your futures. It's about we, the people. We can never forget that, and I never have. Where in our founding documents does it say that the president's job is to perfect us? By perfect, Biden means we are meant to reject those who disagree with him. He urges voters to save our union by purging dissenters, by making the election a virtue litmus test. He said, I've made it clear that I believe America is at an inflection point, one of those rare moments in history when the decisions we make now will determine the fate of our nation and the world for decades to come. America is going to have to choose between moving forward or backward, between hope and hate, between unity and division. Biden's words imply that it is not our freedom to choose that must be protected, but our choice of the Democratic Party that is crucial to the preservation of our union. In order to be united, we must crush the opposition and cut off anyone who disagrees with our project of perfecting the citizenry. If we just get rid of all the people who disagree with us, we'll be united, right? We must therefore choose Democrats if we are to be a people of unity. If we do not choose his party in the coming election, Biden warns us, we will be the people of division. To unite, we have to divide. Biden rejects the ideas put forward at the Republican convention, where J.D. Vance said that, quote, our disagreements actually make us stronger. Vance talked about how in the Senate, our American system is alive and well, where sometimes he persuades his colleagues and sometimes they persuade him.